In this video, we will look at how to set up price lists. Price lists allow you to set up multiple different prices and taxes for products within Register. Price lists are used for a variety of reasons, such as the ability to provide retail and trade pricing, member and non-member pricing, as well as happy hour and eat in or take away pricing as a few examples. You can set up as many price lists as required, which can then be assigned to specific stores. There are four steps to creating a price list. These are 1. Create the price list 2. Add the prices 3. Assign the price list to a store and 4. Choosing how the price lists function First, we will go and create the price lists. This is done within the list section of the web portal, so click config from the top bar and click lists from the submenu. You will see a system list called price lists. Click the edit items icon to view the price lists available. Base is the standard price list created automatically. To add an additional price list, click the new item button and give your price list a name. In this example, we will create a takeaway price list as well as a happy hour price list. Now our price list has been created, we can start adding products to it. You can do this either individually or in bulk using an import file. First, navigate to the product screen by clicking stock from the top bar and products in the submenu. To add items to a price list individually, edit an existing product by clicking the edit pen icon. You will now see the pricing and tax information for each price list on the system. It is just a simple case of editing the price and taxes for the applicable price list. In this case, we will change the tax to zero rate for the applicable takeaway products and make the happy hour price cheaper. After making your change, scroll down and click the save button. If you need to add multiple products to a price list, you can do this via the import process. First, export your existing products for your default price list by clicking the Export Records button and then Export Product Records from the submenu. Then you must choose which price list you want to export. As we only have one product in our price lists, we will select our default price list and click the Export button. Once the file has been generated, click the Download XLS button and open the file after the download has completed. As before, all we need to do is edit the sell price and tax code to the products we want to have in the other price list. You can remove products that are not changing. If the product is not listed in the selected price list, it will revert to the default price list on the system. After making your changes, don't forget to set yes in the import record column and save the file as an XLS spreadsheet. Moving back to the web portal, click the import records button and select product records from the submenu. Now, select the price list you want to import, in this case, happy hour, and then click the white button to launch the open window. Navigate to the location on your machine where your file is, select the appropriate file and click open. The web portal will first check the contents of the file to ensure the data is valid. When ready, tap the import button to start. After the import is completed, tap the close button. Now our prices have been added to the price list, we can move on to assigning the price list to a store. To do this, click config from the top bar and click stores from the submenu. You must now edit the stores you would like the price list available in by clicking the pen edit icon. On the store form, scroll down and you will now see an available price lists option. Tick the additional price lists that are available to the store and select the default price list for the store in the drop down and click the save button. If you would like to set up time-bound price lists such as happy hour, repeat the same process, but this time, select a price list in the override default drop-down. Then click the select time slots button. In the time slots window, click the times within each day you would like the price list to become the default. In this case, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Monday to Friday. The selected time slots will turn green to indicate they have been selected. Click done when finished, followed by save. The register will now automatically switch to the happy hour price list during those selected times. The final task is to configure how the price list will operate on the register. To do this, click config from the top bar and profiles from the submenu. Now click the edit pen icon on the relevant profile and click functions to expand the options. We now need to set remember last price list to either yes or no. When set to yes, the register will automatically select the price list used in the last transaction. When set to no, it will prompt the user to select a price list at the start of each transaction if you have multiple price lists. 
If you only have one additional price list, it will select the default automatically. You can also change the price list message here in the next option. In this example, we will set the config to yes and ask eat in or take away. Scroll down and tap save when finished and repeat the process for any other applicable profiles. Now we have set up our price lists, the only thing to do is click update data on the register to receive the updated price lists. Depending on your configuration, register will either apply the default price list or prompt the user during each transaction as to which price list they are using. This is done when adding the first item. Simply tap the price list name and only prices from that price list will be used. If you select the wrong price list, you can quickly change by tapping the price list at the bottom of the journal and selecting a different price list. You will see all the prices update within the journal for all items. Time-bound price lists such as happy hour will automatically be applied during the specified times. The only thing to note is price lists are applicable to the entire transaction. You cannot mix and match. For example, add two products from one price list and one product from an alternative price list. Further information on price lists can also be found in your user manual. And if you still have any questions, please feel free to get in touch.